What's going on, Legion? As you're here, like always, we got some Alien Covenant stuff. Let's just get straight into it, check it out, see what it's all about. I can't wait, man. This movie's gonna be epic. Mother, how long have we been traveling? Approximately 24 days. Is there anything for breakfast other than oatmeal? Rations have been selected for optimal nutritional content. Mother, is there a planet in the known universe where a full house beats a stray <laughs> Don't bring mother into this. Mother, stay out of this. Mother? Seal all inner doors! Uh-oh. Mother, any additional ammo on board? Oh, shit. <laughs> right above it. Yep. <clears throat> Woo! Oh, hell yeah. There was a streamer. <clears throat> I think his name was Gold Glove. I don't think it was. Uh, and he was like, man, uh, just I'm, I don't like alien movies. Same thing every time. I'm like, really? But you, you like The Predator. You like it, the Predator more. I, I mean, Predator 1 and 2 are pretty good, I guess, for old movies like that. But... It, it has Arnold Schwarzenegger in it. None of his movies come in the top million of greatest movies of all time, except for maybe The Terminator 2. Um, Yeah, I mean, he has a lot of great movies. I mean, realistically, he has actually a, a good handful of awesome movies that are pretty good and revolutionary. I think... Predator, not one of them. Uh, aliens, I mean, even to say that Heath Ledger's the best Joker, I mean, uh, come on, man. Caesar's the greatest Joker. Heath Ledger is the most uh, revolutionary Joker, resetting the bar. Uh, Mark Hamill is the most iconic Joker because it was his voice that made Joker more than anybody could ever imagine. And it's because of Mark Hamill that made that voice that, he, that, that the Joker is as awesome as it is. But bad taste aside from that guy, Aliens 1 and 2, if you actually look into it, uh, are like the, the direct sequels. First one being incredible because it set the bar. Second one being even better than the first one. The third and fourth one, I believe, were even created by two different directors, if I, if I remember correctly. Uh, if not, it's the last two are not the same people creating it as the first two. Uh, and those are kind of... They're good in their own way, but it's not what I don't think we all wanted. Same thing over and over again. Well, we had Prometheus, you know, some years ago, which was like the prequel. And uh, so it's not the same thing over and over again. And um, Alien Covenant, honestly, I understood maybe where he was coming from, from the other trailers. It's the same thing. Uh, if you just don't count the fact that the xenomorphs are like all different, pretty much, this is like the family tree, I believe, of like all the different xenomorphs because each one is like different until you get to like every species that has a face hugger on it. The xenomorphs come out differently. So there's one that looks kind of like all like gangly, which is really gross, but it has the same head. And there's one that looks like a human, but it's probably a different humanoid, or it's a humanoid without all the evolution because the ones that come out of you know because it's so confusing and i like i said last time i want there to be a video so that we can uh get all this shit straight i think that whatever one got the humanoids or humans and then it, there was a queen made a face hugger and that one got maybe got another human and then that queen made more and that's kind of like evolution like humanity and that's why they change but I think the drastic differences between all the ones we're seeing, hopefully, is because they've been um, interacting with other species. That would be kind of a cool. And for the most part, I was like, you know what? Yeah, you know, it's kind of, it's it's not the same exact thing, but it's it's an alien done in this day and time, which is, for all intents and purposes, a whole new kind of movie, unless they're going to be lazy. <laughs> Seeing this, the technology, the AI, mother, all that stuff, uh, what looks like a very intelligent uh, alien, xenomorph, excuse me. Uh, what the fuck was that? And 
other stuff going on like that. This actually looks like it's going to be the new definition of aliens. It really does. It looks like it's <clears throat> excuse me. It's going to be the next iteration, the next level. They you know raise the the bar just just a slight. Um, I hate when people put things in definites. Oh man, Predator is so much better than Alien. Alien is the same thing over and over again. I hate that way of thinking. It's close-minded and stupid. Um, honestly. Uh, everything deserves its own chance. Like Guardians of the Galaxy 2. In my opinion, it's not for certain. You may have a different uh, uh, opinion of it. But, you know, you may not have a good taste of movies. But Guardians of the Galaxy 2 is the worst fucking Marvel movie ever made. It's honestly the worst. It is garbage. For me. For anybody that needs to understand something on this channel, when I say I hate something or it's the worst ever, that is for me personally. That's not to say that the music, the, the movie, the TV show, the animation, whatever I'm talking about, is I'm not declaring it as I'm not the representative of humanity and what humanity finds in, uh, entertaining. And I'm not putting down my flag and saying this is king shit or this is horrible. But from my personal perspective, Guardians was horrible. And this Aliens movie looks like it's going to be not the same thing. And most people with common sense kind of agree with what I'm saying. And the people with bad taste and everything else will go and like Guardians 2. It, oh god, I don't know what, it's not worse than Suicide Squad, DC Marvel, I understand. Because that movie was just ass water. To like the fifth dimension, it was whole. <clears throat> there wasn't anything about that. Guardians was just cheesy and stupid. But I don't think Aliens is going to follow that. Prometheus, incredible movie. It was great. For the people that love the lore. I'm sure for anybody that's like a Predator fan, which I love too, um, doing Predator right <clears throat> seems to be uh, an impossibility. You just can't do it. AVP was okay for the first one. The second one was like a direct-to-sci-fi movie quality. It was just the worst. It was cool to see a Xenomorph Predator thing, but we never really got to see it. And it was so cheesy, I might as well have been watching the Cobra versus the giant Gila monster or something. It was a Komodo dragon. It was just that bad. So it, it feels like it's impossible to do a Predator movie right, unless a big director and a big budget gets behind it, like Aliens. I don't know what it is about Aliens, but it's making a comeback, and I think they're doing it the right way for a new generation. Super excited. And with that note, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. You like the video, like the content, you can always subscribe or share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. And uh, you want to discuss anything we talked about on this channel, on this video specifically, you can always leave a comment down below. Love to see, love to hear all the videos. And with that, once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys. I'm out.